southern kingdom that they, the house of Israel, will have a literal portion in David, the son of Jesse. And I will explain how concerning this end time, small, lowercase Messiah, the son of Joseph. Another question is found here in the two-stick prophecy. Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 16 through 20. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one to another into one stick, that they should become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meant by these? Say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh Elohim, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one ikad stick, and they shall be ikad united in my hand or one in my hand, and the sticks where on thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. So as we see in this prophecy, this verse also needs someone to interpret it to the children of his people. This means it will be interpreted by an Israelite back to the Israelites. Yes, the prophecy has one explanation of the prophecy as we see here, but just like the previous question answered by the northern kingdom. This question also has a twofold answer. In this video, I will show you the second meaning and how the two sticks will become one united, ikad, united stick in the hand of Yahweh. The Hebrew word for stick is etz, and it could mean tree, wood, timber, stock, plant, stalk, stick, gallows, tree, trees, so it also could mean tree. So it could be the two stick prophecy or the two tree prophecy. When two trees become one in the scientific world, it's called insoculation. And insoculation is a natural phenomenon in which trunks and branches of roots of two trees grow together. It is biologically similar to grafting and such trees are referred into forest trees as gemmels from the Latin word meaning a pear. And when I, when I read the Wikipedia article, I immediately thought of the twins or the pair that you see right here, that they're connected by the arm and they're actually gimels. If you really look at this constellation of what we now call commonly referred to as Gemini or the twins. Now I mentioned that the prophecy could be translated as two trees. And I understand that the prophecy can be about the two trees or two family trees, which is a lineage of one person. So you would have one family tree on the mother's side and one family tree on the father's side and their offspring would produce one person. So the scripture is about two trees becoming one, a father's tree and a mother's tree becoming one, a cod tree. Which means that the father's family tree will be of Ephraim and his mother's family tree will be of Judah. So here's a video that I did called Elijah the Overcomer of Revelation where I explain that this person is solely the overcomer in Revelation. And this person, the end time Elijah type servant, is going to have two lineages. On one side Ephraim jo from Joseph, the blessing and the birthright. And on the other side David of Judah, the scepter and the kingdom. In my video of Elijah, the overcomer of Revelation 2 and 3, I identified the overcomer to be one person, the end time Elijah type servant. And this person will sit on Yeshua's throne, Revelation 2, 31. That's a promise to this person, which I identified and now speculate to be the throne of David here on earth. As King and High Priest Yeshua is sitting on his father's throne in heaven. But also, Ezekiel chapter 43, verse 6 and 7 shows Yahweh's sole of his feet and throne dwelling among Israel. So that's going to play out pretty interesting. And in Ezekiel 43, we see the voice coming out of the temple where he says, 
quote, this is the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever, end quote. So for a person to sit on David's throne, he must be a blood descendant of David because Ephraim slash Joseph has the birthright and blessing there has to be a way to merge both the scepter in the kingdom and the birthright and blessing. And the only way I understand that this can happen at this time, how I understand it now, is by the offspring of a union between the two, which I understand part of the two sticks prophecy. And that's what I'm about to explain. And the two stick prophecy of Judah and Ephraim was not fulfilled with Master Yeshua, the Messiah. As I have stated in previous videos, this person will closely resemble his master, Messiah Yeshua. Yet this person is uncomparable to him as this person is a sinner while Messiah Yeshua was sinless despite knowing good and evil and Elohim in the flesh. So Messiah Yeshua is a type of his servant he prophesied would come. This servant is also prophesied about throughout the prophets. For example, in Isaiah, there are many prophecies that were not fulfilled by Messiah Yeshua, as they were not for him, but rather for his end-time servant. Also, there are several prophecies in Isaiah that Messiah Yeshua did fulfill, which will be fulfilled a second time by his end-time servant making it hard to understand this person's identity.